Scrivener is an amazing program for writers. However, a lot of writers seem to find it kind of intimidating. It really isn't any harder to learn all of what Scrivener has to offer than any other program. I mean, after all, how much of us really utilize everything that Microsoft Word has to offer? Probably not very many of us. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at how to import a document into Scrivener. Can't start using it if you can't get your stories that are already written or started into Scrivener. So let's take a look at that today. Okay, so we're taking a look at how to import our documents into Scrivener. There are two ways to do this. Well, actually, there's more than two ways. There's always more than two ways to do anything in a software program. I'm going to take a look at um, what I feel are the two best ways to do this. First of all, what you see on my screen pretty much is uh, just a basic document. I created a script, a new Scrivener project, and will then show you how to import your documents. So we want to come up here to File, down to Import, and over to Files. That brings up a document window where then we can select whatever story we would like to bring in. So let me find something here. I've got tons of stuff in my writing folder. I'll just pick something here. I don't even know what this is. Once we pick that, then we click on open and Scrivener does its thing. Now we want to watch over here on the left hand side. Oh, there. So that's pulled in all that was in this document. And you can see over here on the left, it's created a document. It's given that document a title, but you'll see that it's highlighted in blue. And you might be able to see the cursor is flashing. So if I wanted to give this document a different name, all I would need to do would be to start typing. And I'll just give it today's date, for lack of a better title. So that's it. Now, let's see, this is a pretty short document, actually, but I do see that within this document, we've got a few headings. If I wanted to go into the Word document and create a shortcut next to these subheadings, I can import my document in a second way. So Here's my document in Word. Let me scroll down. Here's the first subheading. What I am going to do is create a signal for Scrivener to know where to split my document. I'm going to use three pound signs. I'm going to scroll down here and do the same thing for this subheading. And I will also give this one a subheading. Now I want to just click Save. I'm going to close out this document and come back to my Scrivener file. And basically we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did the first time. We're going to come up to File, down over here to Import. But now, rather than hit Files, we are going to come down here to Import and Split. And what this is going to do is split that file exactly where I told it to split. Select it. <clears throat> we've told it to, in this little box right here, we've told it what to look for so it knows how to split, where to split this document. You click on OK and after I click on OK I want you to keep your focus up in the left hand corner so that you can see what happens as that document comes in. Now, very quickly it brought it in and you will see we now have four documents. 
each document is just that little bit of section that that included it split it at exactly the place where I told it to split and now I have four documents to start with this really is a wonderful way to bring your work in progress into Scrivener because you can split your chapters right from the get-go instead of importing the entire project and then having to go in and do a split within Scrivener. Thanks for being with me here today. If you've enjoyed what you've learned here, please be sure to click the like button and also click subscribe and get notifications so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for being with me. I'm Deborah L. Butterfield of the Motion Motivational Editor. Be sure to visit my website at Deborah D E B R A L Butterfield.com. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.